Uh, welcome back. It's another long way off coming into this one, though. Um, can you just tell us you know, where you've been and everything, and uh, how you're feeling now coming into this one? Yeah, I've been training hard. Um, you know, I never stop training, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, is it, has it been frustrating? I mean, these past four years, only getting one fight in. Uh, I don't look at it like that. You know, it's um, it's been a, a good journey of self development for me. You know, and uh, I'm continuing to grow as each day comes. How uh, how important were those grappling matches you did uh, in the time away? Yeah, very important. You know, it's good to stay active, uh, test myself against some top grapplers, and uh, you know, improve my skill set. Is that something you want to continue doing moving forward? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm here to be the best martial artist I can be. You know, um, I'm in this for self mastery, and uh, yeah, whether it's mixed martial arts, grappling. Any any type of combat sport, or even swimming stuff like that. I'm I'm just here to you know master myself. Uh, you rebounded from your first career loss, uh, that close fight with uh, Sean Strickland, uh, with uh, finishing your next fight. Uh, what did you learn from that loss, and how have you developed since then? I think the biggest thing that I learned from that fight was um, how cutting down to 170 was was uh, you know sapping a lot of energy out of me. Um, you know I'm definitely a, a middleweight. Uh, I think it, this, is, this is a good move for me. Um, yeah. As a middleweight, um, who do you uh, feel is going to win the Israel Adesanya versus Joe Romero fight coming up? Uh, it's an interesting fight. I feel uh, Adesanya has a lot of momentum behind him, um, and he, he's a, a long rangey guy. Um, but stars make fights, and we've, we've never seen them in there together, so I'll, I'll be interested to see that. Was there any disappointment you didn't land on the London card a few weeks from now? Not really. Um, you know, this was the first opportunity that came my way, and I, you know, I was happy to take it. It's been a uh, great being here in Norfolk, such a such a beautiful place, and uh, I'm enjoying every day. What do you think of Brendan and this matchup? Um, you know what? I've been more focused on myself. I've had a quick look at Brendan, but you know, this is this is my journey. I'm focused on myself. I don't worry too much about the other fella. Yeah. You last mentioned the cuts to 170. Just looking at you right now, it's ridiculous that you used to make that down there. Is it kind of shocking to yourself that you used to do that? Yes, 100%. Uh, yeah, it was a. You know, I was, a, I was a young, I started mixed martial arts very young. I was, I'd made my pro debut at 18, so, you know, I, I, I was at welterweight, uh, but my body was growing. Um, I thought that was the weight class for me. I wanted to stick with the weight class, but, uh, you know, natural development forced me to move up. Yeah, you're in Birmingham, right? Yeah, Birmingham. So why, why uh, did you part ways with TriStar? Um, you know, I, I wanted to go back to Birmingham. I, I missed home, and I have my own academy in Birmingham there, um, Team Renegade. Uh, we have a... We have a lot of fighters. Um, we have uh, Leon Edwards, in the, who's fighting Tyron Woodley. Uh, Jai Herbert's just got signed. Uh, many, many great professional fighters. So you know, we have a solid team there. Yeah. Do you think that's something that's kind of evolved over the past few years? Like you used to, you know, uh, fighters from all across the world need to come to the states to get you know, wrestling or this, that, and the other thing. Um, do you think it's caught up a lot the the level of training elsewhere? Hundred percent. You know, um, the knowledge is there for us in in, in the country. Um, you know, we was always known as a more of a striking base. You know, European fighters were known as striking base fighters, but you know, we're well rounded. We can wrestle, we can grapple, we can do everything. We're mixed martial artists, and you know, we're, we're going to show. We're going to show you. What's the uh, vibe being like in the gym with you and Leon kind of peaking at, at the same time, basically, with the fights coming up? Brilliant. You know, it's great to uh, train with Leon. It, you know, we we learn from each other, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been a great journey training with each other. Your last fight against Ian Heinish, you backed out with an anxiety attack. As a dealer with anxiety myself, do you have any um, advice for anxiety sufferers? Yeah, learn about the hum learn about the human uh, condition. Learn about your learn about the mind. You know, I've uh, really dug into philosophy, and um, every day I'm conquering myself. You know, and uh, you you have to understand. You know, the the suffering and the struggle. That's where we see our, our best selves. You know, and. Uh, I'm happy to be. Um, you know, we've got to conquer ourselves. You know, we can't we can't stay in our shell. Come out of the shell, see our best self, see our greatest self. You know. So is is Birmingham pretty much your like safe space? Do you feel? Uh, not a safe space. I just you know it's just my hometown. You know, I, I see many many young people like myself in the city. You know, so if I can help them along with helping myself, then then it's a win win. And we have a quick one about Birmingham as well. Who do you think's a better Birmingham band, Duran Duran or Black Sabbath? Black Sabbath, I'd say. Yeah. You into the heavier stuff? Yeah. All right. Not to uh, focus on it too much with the anxiety, but is that something you've suffered your whole life, or did that come up later? I mean, my whole life. Yeah. I think I've, um, you know, it's a, like I say, the struggle, the struggle in life. But um, you know, it's 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 beautiful to see where we can come from, and you know, if you if you saw me as a young kid to to what I am now, you know, I've come a long way. 
and I'll continue to grow. And you chose Sabbath, have you ever had a chance to see him live? No, no, I never had the chance, no. Good show. Too bad. No, yeah, I, shame, I got him on the tour. I'd like yeah. to go, I'd like to go. Perfect, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Respect. Thanks.